Hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me today for this LinkedIn top five class. And today we're going to focus on the LinkedIn banner. So a lot of people get intimidated when it comes to the banner because it's graphic arts and they usually rely on a marketing team to develop this for uh, for them. And this could also be for somebody in marketing. But uh, I'm going to show you what elements you should have in that, how that should be laid out, and um, a tool that you can use to make it quick and easy, whether you want to do it yourself, whether you want to do it for your company, or whatever. So I am going to go over some examples here, and we'll get started. So the LinkedIn banner is something that you first need to have the format right on. So the resolution for that is 396 pixels tall by 1584 pixels wide. That is LinkedIn's formatting to make sure that it shows up properly on any desktop, on your tablets, on your phones, um, any image size. So that will adjust accordingly. So make sure that you always have those resolutions for your banner. Next, what elements do you want in that? So of course you wanna make it visually appealing. The thing you want to use is your, you want to embed your company logo in that, along with company colors and perhaps even a company motto, is something that some people do. Now, the reason why is you're building brand. You're trying to build your personal brand along with the brand that you support on the company side. So I'll go through some examples here. But um, some of the other things you can add is, you know, some sort of message of what you do and who you help to get that message across. This is your big bulletin board. This is your free advertisement top of page and you want to use it to the best of your ability. So um, I also recommend putting in some sort of contact information. You can put a web uh, address in there. You can even put personal contact information in there if you like, which some of my clients do. So also along with the resolution, always remember that that picture is going to overlap that lower left-hand corner so make sure that you're always using proper room to allow, not just on desktop, but also on mobile, because mobile, it makes the um, your image larger because it's easier to see on a small phone, but it makes it larger and a little bit more to the right. So it covers up even more. I see um, time and time again that people have spent the time and effort to build a banner, but then they have their picture covering up some of the messaging. So that doesn't look good and it doesn't get your full message out. So. How do we get all this done and how do we do it easy? Well, I got a trick for you and it's Canva. If you haven't heard of it, um, I've got a link here for a free version. You can get the professional version for free for 30 days, which is plenty of time to finish out a banner. And uh, if you don't, if you wanna keep it, it's like $13 a month. If you um, just wanna use the free version, which is the basic version, then you can have that for life. You just sign up and, and just keep it. So you, if you wanna start out with the pro, you can do that either or, but let's look at some examples of how we will do that. So when I go to my banner talking about some of those elements, uh, you know, here's my picture. So it's covering up that corner. So I don't wanna have any messaging over here that's going to get blocked. So I, I have my company logo. I have a message statement that talks about who I help and how I help them. I help sales and marketing. And how do I help them? Master LinkedIn. I also have my web address in here. I've got a image in the background of an office that's washed out, you know, just to add depth to it. And then I've got just some graphics here that draw in my company colors. So another, I'll go through some other clients that I've worked with and I've done banners and, and profile makeovers for. So here is Doma Technologies. They have more information in there. So this is Dwayne. He uh, wants to tell people that he's moving your workload to the cloud and it's more flexible, more agile and less hassle than currently having your data center at home. So, or in your, in your uh, local office. So Dwayne actually has uh, his personal contact information in here. So if you wanted to create one of these for an entire company, you certainly can. And then for personalization, you could add each person's email address uh, and direct phone number if you wanted to do that. But it's got the logos, it's got the company colors, nothing's covered up by Dwayne's picture. So that's good. Um, here's Dr. Ashley, family chiropractic. 
here's a message on what she focuses on, pregnancy, newborns, pediatric, website address, company logo, nice picture that's in tight so you can see it not only well on desktop, but also on mobile because 62% of people are gonna view your profile on mobile. So if you have this real far away shot, it makes it hard to even see what you look like. Uh, another customer, level 365, guess what they do? Pretty obvious, unified communications, voice, video, collaboration across multiple devices. Um, you know, this is, this is their logo. So they put that in their background imaging as well. So that's the logo. Uh, level 365 is, you know, the company name and they have this in their company colors. So again, faces in a little bit tighter so you can see that, you know, in a little bit tighter so you can see that you mine's in real tight that's in real tight so that's you know you don't want it too far away uh next customer is higher click so higher click wants people to really focus on the brand and their message we make hiring easier so higherclick.com so they have the company colors they have some striping to bring in the the color that they have they've got um the website it's simpler, but they, they really want to draw people into building brand and to going to the website. So not just an individual, if you're with a company, if you're in sales leadership or marketing, then you want your entire team to have that because that's what everyone's talking about. It's building brand, building brand, getting my name recognized out there. So for, you know, higher click when we do this for their, their staff, then we do it for everyone on their staff. So they are all branded. So when they go to Rich, they see the same banner. Banner And Samantha, they see the same banner. Scott, Glenn, Heather, Amanda, they all have that same banner. So it gets familiar with people. They get used to that brand and they're like, oh, they work there too. Oh, they work there too. And that's how you get that amplification. That's how you're going to broadcast uh, your brand and you get these people, you know, on board with the marketing team to help amplify their posts, and that's how you get the numbers that uh, you want. So again, how is that all done in Canva? Well, if you download Canva, then you can set up, this is, I just set up a free account here, um, just for an example sake, I actually have the pro, but you set up the free one, you can go in and there's a thousands of different things you can do, but on the template side, if you look at just the social media section, you have Instagram, you have Facebook, you have YouTube, but down here you've got LinkedIn banners. So if you click on the LinkedIn banners, then you can go in here and you can look at 2,670 templates. So hopefully out of that many templates, and you can narrow it down by putting in keyword searches, um, you know, business or professional or office or whatever description or uh, theme that you want in that. But if you see something that you like, then you can say, okay, I, I kind of like this one. That's kind of close to what I want, but I might want to change some things up. So you just customize this template, you click on it, you open it up and you have anything you could imagine uh, you can, you can change and add and move around. So if this is not your company colors, then when you set this up, you've got brand colors Then you can set up and you can say, I'd rather use that color or this color. That's my company color. So this one, um, you know, I, I don't mind that, but I want to do that edging in that color. So you can go through and change colors. You can change font types. You can change uh, styles, uh, size, anything else. You can move them around. You can completely delete them. You know, you might want something completely different. You might want to upload your picture here, a picture of your business, whatever, just as long as you are getting things far enough away from this corner that it's not, you know, washing it out. So you might want this to show up more. So you go more like that because your picture is going to cover some of that up. But you can edit all this out and play around with it. And I promise you that if you play around with 
Canva and some design ideas over the weekend that you'll get comfortable with it. You know, you can line it up and there's all sorts of effects too. So if you want to edit an image, you can, you know, remove backgrounds. So if you have a picture of yourself, you can, you know, wash out the background. So it's just the cutout image of your face or likeness. Uh, a lot of different filters out there, different backgrounds, textures, all sorts of things. So then once it's done, you can publish straight to LinkedIn and link that up to your profile, or I would recommend just downloading it. The default is PNG. What you want to do is make sure when you're downloading it that it is that format, that 1584 by 396. And then you can download it, save it as a file, and then upload it right to your profile. If it is not the correct formatted size, maybe you upload an image that's a different size that you already had, um, then you, know, you just go to resize up here. You can manually put it in there. If it's in one of your more recents, you, know, you can just check the box. But uh, let's say I was changing it to that size, which I don't want, I want the 1584, but you just click on resize. If you want to keep the original, but make a copy, then you do that and it'll make two images. So that's another thing. If you just copy it, then it'll make two images. And it's, I want to keep the original, but I want to play around with one down here. That's one, one way. And then when you go to download, you can say, I want both pages to download or just number two, the one that I edited. So I could go on and on and on about Canva, but play around with it, see how you like it. And I think you'll be happy. Thanks for uh, joining me.